Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to my pre-market game plan for the major future indices. Golden oil for today, Wednesday. It is uh, January 11th and it is 8.50 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, let's start with YM, and I picked YM because it has relative strength compared to all the other indices. YM is leading right now with five points up, uh, followed by NASDAQ that is up only one point, and uh, uh, Russell is actually uh, barely up. It's trying to make its way up. Okay, it's up one point right now, and uh, S&P 500 is down 1.5 points. Uh, so in terms of relative strength, we know that uh, chart-wise, uh, YM suggests that it is a little weaker. It is getting a little weaker at this point, and that's because it, it, it has created this topping effect here on the daily chart. So uh, we have uh, resistance at 99.33, and this is the all-time high. Uh, we try to attempt to challenge the previous high, yet we failed, and we're pulling back right now. So, so far, what we have for today is uh, is a lot of indecision. So uh, right now, uh, the daily chart suggests that uh, we have to stay put until we have more certainty coming into the market as to where we're going to go. Uh, so far, we have uh, solid support here in 19762, and we have resistance set for today um, at 19812. We also have resistance from yesterday at 198. 92 so it's going to be a little bit choppy uh i wouldn't say that it favors more downside and the downside is not going to have a great follow-through because we do have some uh levels of resistance uh, uh, of support i'm sorry of support along the way at 737 uh 727 13 7, all the way to 700 so it's going to be a very choppy right to the downside if we should decide to go lower so like i said my bias is neutral for today in um, in the uh, mini Dow Industrial Average futures, uh, and that's because the daily chart suggests uh, that we're relatively flat. Flat. So what happened in overnight session is we kind of like grinded all to the uh, to the lower side, establishing support here at 19760 four level where we have tested in the early morning hours of yesterday's trading session price stabilized here and uh went back up again into resistance so it was a play of support resistance without having odds of follow through to the upside or to the downside and with increased risk and because the risk is increased compared to reward that's why we're maintaining this range because traders are not uh jumping into these types of trades because there is not a good risk to reward ratio and when you don't have a good risk to reward ratio you skip the trade you don't trade it uh, so at this point like I've mentioned before we have uh, support at 764 and we have resistance at 815 820 area my game plan is to watch YM and if we should break 19820 area, I'm going to look to go long. Now, at that point, I don't want to have a stop that is going to be larger than 20 points. So I'm going to look to see how it behaves in the morning. And if it should break above the 8. 20 area i'm going to look to most probably have a stop into the 19800 area but for this to happen i want price to challenge this area first come back and then uh and then go higher this way we can have room to continue higher into the 1960 1970 1980 and 1900 1920 9, 9, 9, 20, i'm sorry all right so these are the targets for the upside for the downside in case we're going to get a meltdown in the market today i will be looking to go short only under the seven uh, 60 area 760 765 is going to be really a little premature but i'm going to be uh, assessing that area as well other than that like i said not a lot of odds of continuing lower due to the fact that we would have an increased risk 
Uh, so the stop should be above this hourly range right here of 816, 820. And again, the targets are going to be relatively, uh, relatively small. We're going to look for 750, 725, 700, all the way into this area. But like I said, we're, we still have 30 minutes to go, uh, more than 30 minutes to go into the open. So the open is going to give us more information of what's going to happen. Don't forget one thing, guys, at 11 o'clock today, we would like to have everything wrapped up by 11. Uh, uh, the president-elect Trump will hold a press conference and the market might get jumpy, so might get hawkish. Uh, and we might not have any kind of activity until 11 o'clock, so volatility may kick into the market after his speech, so most probably after, uh, in the afternoon hours. Uh, so if there should be a single along those lines, I'm going to be looking at the market, assessing the market, and I'm going to, sh uh, I'm going to share with you, obviously the trades that I'm going to be making. Other than that, it's going to be extreme caution for the trading day today. Remember trading less is actually making more rather than taking a trade and stopping out of the trade. All right, let's talk a lot bit about ES, same price action. So we have, uh, we have support at 22.59.50. And we have resistance at 2265. Uh, this is, these are the parameters for today. If we break above the 2265.50 area or even 2265, we do have room to continue higher all the way into to 2272, 2274, 2276, and 78. These are the projected targets for today. For the downside, it doesn't favor as much, uh, but a break below the 59. Even 59.50 can take the price lower into 22.58, and like I said, 22.54. So it doesn't have the same uh, the, the same fluidity as it has for the upside. So, but um, we we're gonna definitely assess the downside as well. All right, let's move on to NQ and uh, NQ. <coughs> excuse me. NQ is the strongest one, Ch chart pattern wise, not percentage wise, uh, but I like the way it is setting right here. Uh, over 5033 has room to continue into uh, 5038 area. Uh, we have a first level of support at 2950. We have a secondary level of support at 2025, uh, which means that we can actually head higher. I really like, and I, one of my favorites for today is gonna be NQ, so most probably we're gonna watch this one, but don't alleviate the, uh, the rest. Okay, so for the upside, like I've mentioned, we have room to continue higher, testing the new high that was established yesterday at 5047. Uh, we have room definitely for 5050, and this is going to be uh, the target magnet that I'm going to be looking for. Other than that, we're going to look for uh, 70. Uh, 65 and moving forward we're going to take a little at a time uh projected targets for this uh is uh 5108 for today and actually for medium or long term if we get the uh, volatility uh and if we get um uh, if we get the investors optimism that are going to jump into the market today uh, let's continue with uh, the Russell, and actually, uh, 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 the Russell is uh, behaving very bullishly this morning, and uh, it's triggering a daily buy. So it's very, very strong. This is going to be again one of our strongest points and our strongest watches for today. Uh, Thirteen seventy is going to be the area that uh, is of uh, maximum interest. Of uh, actually seventy one, thirteen seventy one support is at thirteen sixty five. It has room to run into the 75 area, 80 area, and uh, 85 and 90 area. Let's not forget that uh, in the Russell, we have an uh, all-time high of 1395. Uh, and... Um, this 1395 uh this 1395 uh, in order to reach this 1395 we need to break the 1388 area so uh the, the these hides right here uh but it looks very bullish i love the fact that it's ascending uh and it is a very bullish pattern compared to all the other uh minis so for today my favorites are tf and nq uh let's move on to the metals and uh gc uh right now basing sideways it is very very choppy basing sideways right here we yesterday we had a burst to the upside correction in the late afternoon hours of the new york trading session pushing back up into 1190 and coming back in but as you can see here the 20 period moving average is uh keeping price up and once the price is going to fall below this moving average uh it might have the tendency to correct now how far the correction is going to be we're going to wait and see um, uh, from the first 
minutes from the market and like i said we're getting very close to that 1200 area we're grinding slowly into that 1200 area that uh we have been talking uh, all last week about uh let's uh take a look at si and this is silver silver basing on the two minute chart five minute chart even the 15 minute chart um and it looks slightly bullish at this point a break over 1680 at this point 1680 can actually propel it higher uh however the stop is going to be 73 so that is a little bit of a wide stop for silver at this point uh even for a small time frame chart uh bonds are trying to let's switch to the bonds zb uh bonds were sideways for the last three training sessions um the bonds are uh were sideways were uh trying to see a pop over 152 uh 152 uh 30 area uh other than that a 152 30 is going to be the area the breakout area the big breakout area onto the daily chart and guys if we're going to get a breakout of this 152 30 and actually 31 i would say if we get a break uh, uh above this area uh this is going to be a game changer because it's going to unleash uh, it's going to unleash a lot of uh upside for it it can go to 155 uh, 155 155 20 these are the projected targets so right now it's digesting this area that's why it needs a uh that's why it needs uh, some time to digest this area but this pop is going to be very 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 powerful so over 153 it has room to move into 155 however if you're considering this as a swing trade your stop needs to be um needs to be over uh needs to be 152 so you're gonna have a little bit of a wide stop so it's uh, 153 uh, for the entry by 152 and the target 155 155 20 all right last but not least cl we're getting close to the open 25 minutes to go uh cl oil is moving a little bit higher it's trying to regroup some of the losses there's a short squeeze that is happening here that is uh, uh actually taking the price higher into 51.50 this is one of the target areas for the short squeeze and the second target area is going to be 51.75 51.75 is going to be that line in the sand that is going to truly going to determine whether we're going to be heading higher or we're going to be heading uh back down so that's going to be the line in the sand whether we're going to get a turnaround or we're going to get a push higher all right and by popular request i'm going to look at one more and this is dx okay uh dx is um uh the dollar uh, index us dollar and this as you can see right here we have definite support at 101.27 we have resistance at 102.50 uh this is a pressure area and if it breaks 10250 boom we're going to the down to, to the upside 10380 and 104 are going to be the next target areas with more targets into 105 and 105 27 so these are the projected areas for the dollar thank you so much for joining and i hope to see you guys back here uh tomorrow okay thanks a lot have a very profitable trading day